arts in the community, music in the street, the kind of gathering that gets you moving and on your feet. Bruce City Culture Fest is the heart and soul of the Cambridge community. Uh, it's all about inspiring creative expression and increasing community engagement over a two-day celebration, bringing people from all walks of life together. And here with us to tell us more about it, Veronica Taylor, who's the executive director of Groove City Black Heritage, along with Holly Gilpin, who is the director of tourism for Dorchester County. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. It's good to see you. Thank good to you. See you too. But I got to ask. Groove City, where did this idea come from? Oh, many years ago, back in the 80s, um, a lot of the DJs um, went around different clubs and all of a sudden they started doing a rap and it was called Groove City, come to Groove City. Okay. So that's how Cambridge originated that name Groove City because of the DJs. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Groove City definitely thinks about makes me think about music. What type, yes. What type of music will, should we be expecting? Um, well, this we always do a different genre of music. We have a gospel stage, so we do two stages of performance. So we have gospel, we'll have R and B, we'll have hip hop, we'll have a different thing for everyone. Oh. So we try to make sure that we provide a genre of music that engages everyone. Music is covered. Okay, so music. Holly, what, what else can we look forward to seeing? Oh my gosh, there's going to be food vendors there. There'll be um, people there selling um, t-shirts and jewelry and just souvenirs for the day. But we are expecting at least around between two and 3,000 people this weekend wow. to hit us on the in Cambridge. It's a two-day festival, so we have a night concert on Friday, and it's an all-day activity in the afternoon on Saturday. So it's a lot of fun, great food, great people, great music, and you can just spend the whole afternoon down on, off of Pine Street Boy, in Cambridge. Yeah. It sounds great. Sounds it does. <laughs> so not only is there music, but this is also about a cultural diversity and show showcasing that. So yes. tell us a little yes. bit about that piece. Yes. So with the cultural diversity, the, um, we will have a lot of African goods there mm -hmm. and art. So we will have an art display there um, by Tierra Brickus, who's a, a black artist. And her, her mother, and her brother are great artists. So we will have an art exhibit there. Um, and we'll have different type of art, uh, like dances by different art groups and stuff like that. Wow. So it's going to be really fun. And like yeah. I said, I mean, when you think of Pine Street and the history of Pine Street, it was the music hub back in the 60s during the big band time. And you had a lot of the black artists and musicians that came through during the Chitlin Circuit. Mm -hmm. So Pine Street was originally a part of that Chitlin Circuit where all the musicians would come in. So that is what makes Pine Street so significant in the history behind Pine Street and why okay. we have this big music fest on Pine Street because it's all about the history of Pine Street. Thank you so much for explaining that. I had yeah, no I idea. I was going to say. Exactly. I didn't know any of that. That's why I like coming here. I love it so much. <laughs> Every time. All right, so Holly, you said this weekend, right? Yes. Are you still looking weekend. for vendors? Uh, we are pretty much full on the vendors. Okay. Uh, but there's always the opportunity if you go to um, Veronica's website, yes. Group City Black Heritage Culture Event, or her Facebook page, and message her if there is any spots left. She'd be glad to answer you. I'm okay. sure. And we'll be sure to have those links on the Del Marble Life page. Yes. yes. So you can just look forward yes. to that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I heard a lot of great things. Right. What are you two ladies looking forward to the most? Mm. <laughs> well, see, for me, I really look forward just to see the expression from people that they really had a good experience, a good time. We have a lot of uh, people that come home for family reunions, mm -hmm. class reunions. They plan their time around Groove City Culture Fest. Mm -hmm. So just to see the people that I've never seen in years, mm -hmm. haven't seen in years, is that is what really get, gets me. Mm -hmm. Because it's good that when people come home and say, Veronica, you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're providing the community with so much. And, and that's what I like, when people really are about the fest itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, because Holly, they have you, a good time. Can you top that answer? <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to seeing people from outside of the area oh, come cool. in. You know, mm -hmm. she has a great band on Friday night from Washington, D.C. that, you know, it's a headliner band. Uh, they're going to be playing. And then they have dancers and all these performers all the way up the shore. Um, and very close, like the people here in on the Eastern Shore, the artists. Right. That's what I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to seeing because we have so much talent in the shore That's the truth. area. I mean, there's so many great bands, yeah. so many great performers, and people always think, oh, I need to go somewhere else to see a great music concert. But nope. you do not. You just need to come to Cambridge this weekend and go to Groove City Black Heritage Culture event, and you're going to see 
great bands, great performers, wonderful artists, good food. It's a good time. Good time. Good time, good in, good Cambridge. time in Cambridge. So, exactly. big question. How do you get tickets? Tickets. Oh, great. So you can go to our website, which is Groove City Black Heritage and Culture Group, or you can Google Groove City Culture Fest. That's Once easy. you get on our website, and you can see where it says Belladonna, who is a all-female go-go band from Washington, D.C. Oh, my. All-female. Yeah. Yes, it's probably about 12 people in their band, and they do a fabulous job. So we can't wait till Friday night. Veronica, Holly, thank you so much. Thank you. Hope you have a great event. Thank Man, you. I want to go to this I event. Know. Yeah, you have to come. And on Saturday, everything's free. So oh. Friday night is the ticketed event. Oh. Saturday, it's free. It's free. Free. Yeah. We like you that. Can, that's a good <laughs> price. So yep, we have radio feeds coming uh, right from the station, too. All so we'll see some stuff. local cool. DJs, too. Ladies, yes. thank you very yes. much. Thank Take you. care.